Hi everyone, how are you today? Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to do a video using the Castle Art Pencils because I've had quite a few people request it and I have spent the whole weekend just kind of relaxing and coloring on my own on this page from Deborah Moller's new book, Fall Fairies. And I love this book. It has so many cute images in it. If you would like to get this book for yourself, I will make sure that's linked in the description below. But I have just really enjoyed working on this page. And I don't know, I just think this fairy is so adorable. So I wanted to be able to share it with y'all and film a little bit of it. And I have a little trick to show you in this video. And that was my really my whole purpose of this video, not just to color with the Castle Art pencils, but I kind of want to show you a little bit on how I color hair and I wanted to show you also how I got it to look how I got my blend to look pretty smooth so if you would like to continue seeing my videos please do make sure that you subscribe and also turn your bell notifications on and if you enjoy this video please do make sure that you give this video a thumbs up because it helps my channel out a whole lot so I just want to show you exactly how I was able to do this. I am working on the Nina paper, which I always have linked down in the description below for you to be able to find it. But this is a fabulous paper and it works well with the Castle Art pencils. One thing I have found about the Castle Art pencils is that I have a lot of trouble getting them to blend the way that I want them to blend and maybe that's my coloring style maybe that's because I'm used to more artist grade pencils I don't know but I have found a way to make them work for me and so I wanted to share that with you today so we are going to color the hair or maybe just color like one part of the hair we'll see how much I could get done on this video so as you could see here I have I don't know if you want to follow along or maybe color something else, but I'm going to share with you the color combination that I'm using, like I always do in all of my videos. But I'm using this Lemon Yellow Light for highlights, as well as this Leaf Green Light for highlights. And then my darkest color is this Vindian. And then my shading color is my Castle Green Deep. And then for a little bit more highlights and to kind of lighten it up, I've got a lighter green, which is the mint green. So I've used all of these colors in every one of these sections of her hair. And so I'm going to show you how I did that. Let me go ahead and zoom you in a little bit. And in case you're wondering about her eyes, I love how her eyes turned out. I used the same variation, but I don't. I didn't use the lemon yellow light, but I used the other colors to create her eyes and I just kind of wanted her eyes to match her hair because I'm just in love with this combination and of anything with these Castle Art pencils, I will tell you they've got some gorgeous colors in this set. If you're looking for a budget friendly set that has beautiful colors and a lot of bright colors for highlights then the castle arts are a good choice. So that's my main reason for bringing you this video because they, I don't know, I've not gotten them to perform the way that I want to in a coloring book. I've only been able to get them the way that I want them to perform on this Nina paper. Of course, I'll have that linked in the description below for you in case you want to purchase this paper for yourself. But we're going to go ahead and start up here on her hair. And... My leads are pretty sharp. Always make sure when you're coloring hair that you've got a pretty sharp lead on your pencil tip. And right here where her hat is touching, I just always make sure that I've got plenty of dark shades there because her hat laying on her head would actually create a shadow. 
but this is how I always start my hair. And I always like to have lots of highlights in my hair when I'm coloring hair. And then down in the end, by where her little cute hair barrette, her little bow is, flower. And then closest to her face would always be a darker area as well. This is just how I color hair. And I know many people color hair differently. I will say that the um, good thing about the castle arts is that they're a much harder pencil. So when you sharpen them, they do hold their lead. See, it blends fairly well on this paper. But that generally happens with these pencils when you're staying in the same color family. And I want to be able to create a lot of highlights, like the bright, bright highlights like I did over here on this side. And so I'm going from green to yellow. But if you are just generally staying in the same color family and you don't go out of the color family, like mixing greens with greens or pinks with pinks or purples with purples, then that would be a little bit different and they will blend just fine for you. And a lot of people that are beginners like to stay in the same color family. And then once you get a little bit more experience with your coloring or your art, and you want to kind of step out of the box a little bit and start experimenting with colors and which ones can be mixed together and which ones look good mixed together, I'm coming in with my mint green, which is my kind of brightened up... Um, see, when I go over with this, look how much it brightens it up. But yeah, once you're ready to kind of step out of the box and experiment just a little bit more, see it blends fairly well and this paper is quite toothy. So that is part of it. And they do tend to blend better on paper that has more tooth, but I want to cover up all of that white that I see in the paper. So to do that, that is why I'm bringing this video so I could show you the little trick that I used. Now see how when I bring in this leaf green light, which is my lighter of greens, it's still a green, but it has a lot of yellow in it. And because I'm going so far into the yellows on the first layer, it's not going to get a super smooth blend. You're still going to see the white, but it does blend well. I just like super, super smooth blends with my colored pencils. And maybe that comes from using Prismas, but I will tell you also that I enjoy these budget pencils better on this paper than I do on the Prismas because I have found when using this paper that I prefer other paper with my Prismacolor pencils because I find that they are so soft and the wax moves around so much that it kind of goes out of the lines and I did a video on that and how it kind of seeps out of the lines with the color and if I could find that video I'll make sure that I link it for you okay so see how we still see a whole lot of the white in the paper I hope you guys can see that on camera but I am, have my white Prisma color, and this is where the magic happens. So you guys know that when you're using Prisma colors or artist grade pencils, you don't generally 
need to do something like this because they will just naturally blend together but sometimes I enjoy using my budget-friendly pencils and I know I have a lot of you that follow me here on YouTube and are in my group that like to use other pencils so this trick is absolutely fabulous and it could make your budget pencils look exactly like they are artist grade pencils I mean if you look at this you can I don't really see the difference in how it looks you know aside from I mean I, I really don't see much of a difference except for the fact that I did have to work harder to get this like this flower right here I did have to work much harder to create this and add a little bit of my artistic ability in here to be able to create th create this and make it look like I would have with my prismas much easier so they do take a little bit more work but I don't know there's different colors we all need all the colors right and there's different colors in this set than there is in the other sets so that is one of the benefits and they mix well with the other pencils as you can see I'm going over all of this with my white Prisma and what this is doing is I'm laying the wax from the Prisma over all her hair and so it's giving me that wax layer now from the Prisma color to be able to come back and go over it again and look at the difference look what that just did You guys know anytime I discover a crazy cool trick with these with any of the pencils when it has to do with coloring I am going to show you <laughs> but this to me was just so amazing and it I mean I don't know all it does is put an extra wax layer that the Castle Arts could not provide me with because they are not as waxy but it put down that extra wax layer that I need so that the harder wax in the Castle Arts were able to move around so the color is able to move around and I'm coming back with another layer so of course the second layer is also helping it to cover some of the white so I'm just gonna do over again exactly what I did the first time now I'm coming back with my middle color and this paper has a lot of tooth to it so you'll notice that as you continue to keep coming back if you can see the white of the paper is just going away and that um, white Prisma color really contributed to that happening or being able to allow that to happen. And I'm just kind of doing this in strokes. because that's just how I like to do my hair and I've enjoyed doing hair with these I mean even though it is more work than it would be if I were using my Prismas because the tip on the um, on the lead stays sharper and so that way I'm able to not have to sharpen it as much and I could push harder and I don't have to worry about my lead breaking and it's helping me to cover a lot of these white lines now see when I come over with this lightest color and 
And anytime you see the white lines in the paper and they don't seem to be covering up, you come over them with your lightest color and you just kind of go in the opposite direction of what you did previously. And that will help you to hide some of the white lines. Now this paper works fabulous with colored pencils because it has a lot of tooth and it gives you the ability to be able to lay a lot of layers. So if you don't want to work this hard, then you may not enjoy this paper and you may need something a little bit smoother without as much tooth. And I have another paper that I generally use when I want to just not work as hard. And I'll make sure that is linked down below as well. But see, now that I'm coming over with this leaf green light, it's really just brightening it up and pulling it all together. And I think that I may, even though I'm using Castle Arts in my beginner series on my channel, I think that I may add this to the beginner series because this is a trick that you could use really on any of your more budget friendly pencils that are going to be, that are wax based, that are going to be harder. So I'm going to come back and add more white to kind of just blend this out. But your Prismacolor White, if you don't have Prismacolor Whites, I'll make sure that's linked down in the description below. I just actually bought myself a whole package of them because they, this pencil is the most valuable pencil in my eyes. But look at that. I mean, is that not fabulous? And it all happened. I was still able to use the beautiful colors in this Castle Art set because there are some gorgeous colors in this set for a budget-friendly set. You can purchase this set on Amazon for, I believe, $47.99. And then there is another set that you could purchase that actually comes with a case, which is a really great deal, too. But I like using my um, BTSKY, I think, is the company on Amazon, that I just love their cases. So I bought it in the tin, and the tin had gone on a lightning deal one day, so I was able to get these pencils for $40 one, one day last week, and I um, that day I shared it with all of you in my Facebook group. And I think quite a few of you probably grabbed a set as well. But... I'm enjoying using them and I love the colors as you can see the colors are so bright and vibrant and beautiful you just have to work with them a little bit more than you would if you were using a Prismacolor but then again when I'm using my Prismacolors I spend a lot of time trying to make things look perfect as well and like even on this, I'm still seeing areas that I want to come back and just add to or fix just to add a little bit more dimension. The more of the darker colors that you add when you're doing hair or any object, not even hair or not even just hair, but the more of the darker color that you add that makes the highlights in that object or in your hair in this case stand out much more than they would have if you hadn't come back and added in more of those dark colors and then if you take your like for me in this case I've got the mint green which is going to be a lighter shade, but it is bright. I mean, look how beautiful that color is. And I don't know, there's not a color like that in many sets of pencils. And that is like the reason 
I really love this pencil set because it's got some really cool colors in it. But see if I just come back and I add another layer, it is smoothing this out even more. And I'm kind of using my brighter green just to kind of pull through those greens, but I'm not bringing it into my highlight color. I'm just kind of brightening up and spreading out the other areas. But this is how I do my hair when I'm coloring hair. I know many people color hair differently, but we all have um, our own coloring style, and this is the way I do it. If you'd like to see more hair coloring tutorials, we have my um, next color along coming up that I'm doing specifically for beginners, although anybody could join in. You don't have to be a beginner to join us for the color, color along. Uh, Deborah Muller had created a coloring page specifically for my Facebook group. And so I am going to do some tutorials for skin and hair and clothing. And she created this with my request because so many people had requested hair, skin, and clothing. And I want to show you how I do the eyes and of course add the makeup, which would be the lips and such. And you could see I've got some glitter up here. And I just, I love doing faces and I love doing makeup and I love coloring skin. So she created a page for my Facebook group that has all of those, or that is perfect for all of those things. And it is a fall themed page because I had requested that also since we are in September, October. And I asked her to leave a lot of background room. And so we've got a really good amount of background space to where I could do a background tutorial. So if you all want to join us for that color along, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Make sure that you are in the Facebook group so that you know what's going on. I think I did the first poll today asking whether or not everyone had wanted to follow a color palette or not follow a color palette. So if you are not in the Facebook group, make sure you get in there so you can join us for the color along. But if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And I hope you all have a great day. And I will see you in the next video. Happy coloring. Bye.